Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support of the channel. It's been so, it's been a pure joy to read cards in this format. I've never, in this kind of platform, I never even realized it existed. So it's been um, life-changing. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. There's a pick a card reading. There's a love reading one week. Other weeks I do a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. And just keep in mind that tarot is sacred divination. So readings are timeless. You could really watch, I'd say any reading that piqued your interest, I'd, if it really caught your attention, I'd watch it. And if you, if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Virgo, please. Okay. All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle cards, too. You've got the Six of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Fool, and the Nine. Boy, this is interesting, having a two Nines, a Three, and a Six. I mean, I feel like you definitely have... Um, somebody here there's a reunion there's something coming back around there is an apology here too so i feel like you've got a change of heart with an apology coming but i do feel like you've got a lot of happiness coming in as a result so if you've had a it might not be a love necessarily if you've had a problem with somebody or some issue that you just felt like you've got some unfinished business with somebody i do feel like they want to put in a lot of effort too they may be the one that reaches out to you if that's the case um, I do feel like, too, though, as far as work is concerned, I mean, you got a lot of water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and air, um, uh, fire here, too, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I do feel like as far as work, too, you might get a new opportunity, but I, I feel like, or if you're at a new job, it may be a little bit um, intense at first, just the adjustment period. Not necessarily in a bad way, but I do feel like you're going to put in a lot of effort here but I feel like as you go through at you know it will be to the place in the beginning it's a lot but it will taper off so with the six of cups here this is a card of nostalgia it's a card of a sentimental longing but it is a card of of reciprocity and feeling love with other people and it can be a card too that signifies an age difference so whoever this is it can't, it's somebody, it feels like somebody from the past, again, it may be somebody with a, uh, or maybe a bit of an age difference, or it could just be somebody connected to your past too. But it is a card that brings a happiness and connection and wanting to go out of, you know, go out of each other's way to do things for one another. So I feel like in terms of getting together with that three of cups too, it brings in celebration and laughter and reminiscing energy there's somebody here i do feel like you have some kind of a coming together with people where there's a lot of reminiscing so if it's a high school group or you know people you went to high school with or old relatives or cousins or something that you haven't seen it does bring in a lot of good memories fun memories like remember that time um, with the Three of Cups here, this again is a reunion card. So with the Three of Cups, so we like the Cups energy. It's all about love and creativity, but it's also about living a good life. And so with this, it's that growth of a good life. It's that multiplication that the threes bring, the unfoldment and expansion of that good life. So I do feel like too, in a job situation, if you have a new job with that full energy showing up, it's something you've always wanted. I mean, they've got it many times here when we start to look at this um, with the Fool, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. There's something you wanted that it's like that, that energy comes together and it all plays out. There it is for you, boom. We like the Fool though. It's the beginner's mind and it really brings in an energy of freshness and, and clean energy coming in. 
So with the uh, Hanged Man here, it's Vision Quest, okay? So I do feel like you've set this table, you've set the stage, you've got that vision of what you want in your life, and it's that that's that starting place. It's in some ways the fool and the hanged man, there's some similarity in terms of releasing resistance here. It's allowing yourself to be open to anything, an open mind and an open heart. You have it multiple times with this and the fool too. So, um, but with the hangman, it's definitely a change in perspective. It's seeing things with clarity. It's seeing things through the eyes of source, especially for those of you where this apology comes in. I feel like you've had enough time and space that you will be able to move forward with whoever this is. It's that you're very open. You've got a very approachable energy about you, very unconditional energy. And so I, it's a great time for reconciliation in any way. If it's a friend, family, or an ex, that you have the right energy for that to, to go through and to become something more. So with the Ace of Wands, it's wave your magic wand. Aces are all about initiation and beginnings. So in a job search or situation, for those of you that it's something new, this brings in that passion, focus, and drive. Um, wands are all about enterprise and growth and directing your ideas. So this is also the right use of will, where you've got your point of attraction is stable, where you're focused on what you want, bringing that in, and not having that lack conscious kind of energy where we get focused on the absence of something. So we just get more of that stress and anxiety regarding the absence of it. So with this Ace of Wands, things definitely move forward. Again, for some of you, it does represent an apology. and But there's great passion here too. So we like that. Now with the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups sits back. He's proud of those cups. He's proud of his accomplishments. And it's like your dream come true right here. And so with this, so it is very high vibrational energy. You see all the waves and the, the, the cloth behind him and in his own garment. It also represents that, strong, the red represents the strong desire, but the white is also that integrity. So you won't do anything to, you know, to get what you want. It's like the energy where you live by integrity and credibility. You don't, you know, do things that would hurt anyone else to get what you want, but it naturally unfolds with this energy. So I feel like it's been a long time coming, but for some here, somebody here, whatever this reconciliation is, I feel like you knew it was going to happen. It was just a matter of time and giving things enough time and space. Others of you, though, with a job too, it may feel like this is the thing you've been wanting and here it is. So we talked a little about the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands definitely requires some um, exertion here and it can be a bit of will too. So we have to be careful with that. However, I also feel like it's that not giving up, investing your time. You get it with the nine of wands as well. Um, the tens are about dominion and power. So I do feel like if you've exerted or you're putting some time into something, it's in an intentional way. It's time that you know gets a reward. It's not just mindlessly putting in time. It's really doing it with that point of, of focus on what you want to have in the, in the backdrop. So in... Um, in a job, the time that you put into this, the investment builds up your position. It builds up your career. And I do feel like people take notice of it. They see you as being a very hard worker. Others of you too, though, if it has anything to do with working on your house, I'm kind of getting that in as well. I feel like you'll like the outcome. It's They keep saying that. Whatever the outcome is, you're very happy with it. So the fool shows up to tell you there is a transition. I mentioned it's the beginner's mind. So it's like having a very um, open mind to anything, a brand new, fresh, clean slate. If you're a cross watcher, this is good energy for approaching and trying to figure some things out. Now, also to notice that he has that magic wand over his shoulder. And so he has powers. He's got these magical powers. His bag of experiences hangs on the end, but he's aware of his past experiences, but he doesn't live there. So for you too, it's not having bitterness or animosity towards somebody. It's being pretty lighthearted and approachable, but he's ready to dive right on in. It's whatever you're doing, you're ready to jump in with both feet. Feet, You're ready to have a new beginning with this energy. Um, it's also a reminder too that your soul is always victorious. And so you're taking on these new experiences. It's enthusiasm, trust, and new beginnings all the way. There's no hesitation here. And also, too, notice the sun in the corner. There are very few sun 
the sun's in the in the cards and this is one that has it and that indicates a positive energy shining down on you you've got this synergy wherever you go and so with the nine of wands here the nines are all about completion and realization so I feel like you have a sense of pride in a way with that nine of cups as well in yourself, knowing that you made it through, you pushed through some times that were difficult, that were challenging, but you didn't give up. This is that conquering spirit. So if you went through college and it was difficult, especially with the year and a half that we've been through and all the insane changes and adjustments we've all had to make, it's really being able to look at that. Now, and see like, hey, that was worth it. There was a point to that. Now for others of you though, with a relationship, I don't, I feel like you haven't given up on this and neither have they. They have not given up on this. I feel like you both know you're supposed to be connected in some way. There's supposed to be a relationship here or you would have been able to just cut it clean anyway and just said, never mind, this isn't the right situation for me. So the nines are all about successful completion. So I do feel like as you move forward with this energy, it does bring it into a much better place than it may be right now. So um, let's see here for you guys with the angels, what the angels have to say for Virgo. <clears throat> and a timeline for Virgo, please. All right, other information for Virgo. All right, you've got here improving health. Now, oftentimes we see this as spiritual health, okay? But especially with that nine and 10 of wands, I like we said, the, um, the investment is worth it. It, it. Things do move forward there. You've got peaceful resolution. So that really makes a lot of sense with the tarot reading. I like that. And you've got listen to your intuition. So especially with the hanged man, because that is an energy of being very peaceful, tranquil, quiet the mind, meditate, allow those answers and allow that guidance to come in. And that will help to give you that intuition so you know what to do within the next few months, they say. So things are moving forward and they tell you don't stop, Virgo. So good things are coming to you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.